Loa, congratulations with your second place in the 3000 meter. What kind of race was it? It was a tough race, started off quite slow, then just the pace is continually built until a last lap burn up, which is sort of what I expected. So, What, uh, what did uh, your coach Steve Cram tell you before the race? Just wanted to sit in and wait and just be patient, not, not get carried away in the early stages, then just see what you have over the last kilometre. And I think I did that and just got a bit caught by the Russian there. We saw you running in the Olympics in the 1500 meter. How is it to race here in 3000? It, yeah, it's quite quite a different experience, and I think it just shows that, that that strength base is there at the moment, and I can kick off kick off that kind of pace. So that's a good sign going forward now with the 1500 meters I have lined up, and hopefully transfer that strength across. Going into the last lap, it was still a kind of a pack. Uh, were you? Was, did you think about the chance to win it? Yeah, I was waiting for the right time to go out and I, I was at the front really with, with a K to go and I was just trying to wait and wait and wait. Then at the bell, the Russian came past me and so that sort of ignited it. Let's just go, get moving now. And I, I let her get a bit of a gap and I couldn't quite, couldn't quite catch her down the home straight. And the audience, did you notice how they were screaming for you? Oh, it was brilliant. I heard screams for Laura all the way around. So that was really nice and a great experience racing here in front of a home crowd. And what will be your next goal for this season? I'm going to do the Birmingham Diamond League next week and then get ready for my world trials and hopefully qualify for the world team. Thank you very much. Thanks.